I'm Dewey from Italy, though. Um, so I think what Ethereum brought us is what we call the token economy. Um, everything is being tokenized. Today you can send money, any form of ownership of, of token assets anywhere in the world. Right? Um, but we think there's, there's a huge problem with that, which is the lack of privacy. Um, with the lack of privacy, you know, anyone can see how much money you have, how many ETH you have, how many down you have on public ledger. You can even see where you get them from, uh, where you spend it. You know, in a few years, if that become popular, you're going to spend that on payment, like when the coffee, 15 minutes with Starbucks. You probably don't want the entire world to know that, right? Um, and when you get to, like, um, you know, use cases like payroll, uh, payment for businesses, uh, privacy is become really, really important. And we think that it's not just a barrier of entry of adoption for Ethereum, but tokens in general is actually also a threat, right? Because you know it could be your neighbor, it could be your government, uh, know your entire finances. So how do we go about solving that? Um, so Incognito is, is a layer one blockchain for some privacy. Uh, we believe in the Unix philosophy that you want to do it well. So rather than build on top of Ethereum, we build our own uh, proof of site blockchain that focuses on privacy. Uh, and then we bridge it to Ethereum and let anyone send ETH or any kind of ERC trade token privately. Um, so how does it work? Um, so on the top is the Ethereum blockchain, uh, at the bottom is our uh, Incognito blockchain, and we build a non custodial bridge, uh, the two-way non custodial bridge uh, between Ethereum and us, so you can flow assets back and forth. So for example here, um, you know, uh, Bob said five ETH into uh, our uh, blockchain, and then we convert it into private ETH or private DAI, uh, and then he can send that, spend that within our blockchain properly, and then he can exit out you know, after a month or two months if you want to. So how does it work under the hood? Um, so you know, um, as, as Bob, you know, the first thing you do is deposit, let's say, a thousand dollars into a smart contract on Ethereum, and then uh, he brings that deposit proof, which is uh, basically a, a local path, the block has an ID to Incognito, and then about to verify that yes, this is a valid deposit proof, and it means I have a thousand dollars. And let's say after a while, Bob uh, want to cash out, maybe the two hundred P die back to uh, the public die on Ethereum. He can just go to Ethereum and say, hey, I want to burn two hundred P die, and then bring that bird proof to the smart contract on Ethereum to get to the die back, right? Um, so that's under the hood. Um, and we got one minute. Sure. Okay. Um, so um, that's under the hood, but we want to make sure that you ask for privacy as similar as possible. So uh, you know, the entire process of meeting and burning, we do that into a couple of tabs in our mobile app. Um, so you know, privacy by default, it's it actually really easy to do for you though. You don't need to run a full node to send a private transaction like some other uh, privacy script today. Um, the other thing we want, uh, we try to make it, the experiment on, on mobile web really fast. So for the past few, uh, for the past six months, our team uh, rewrite brings ZKP to mobile from scratch. So we build the entire, and we open sources in uh, C and Go, and then compile to Android archive for Android, uh, iOS framework for iOS, um, and a web assembly for the web. Uh, it's open source, so hopefully the other team working on uh, Wallet. If you guys want to bring browser to your wallet, feel free to uh, check out what we have. So um, the, uh, it's not paperwork, uh, it's working code, where the product is here. You can download the app on Android iOS and use right away. If you want to host a node to power the you know, uh, we have instruction on our website to do that. If you want to view it, uh, come to us and uh, you know, uh, look at our GitHub. Thank you.